Good morning and welcome to St Matthew with St Chad. Today is Advent Sunday, so let us pray. We gather in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we light our first Advent candle. For Advent is a time of waiting and in this church we mark the waiting as we prepare for Christmas and Christ coming again by lighting four candles on Advent Sundays 1, 2, 3 and 4. Today we light the first candle. So let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, light of the world, you were born in David's city of Bethlehem, born like him to be a king. This day be born in our hearts and be king of our lives for always. Amen. We now continue with our prayers of penitence. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, you created a universe of light. Forgive us when we return to darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Cleanse and heal our blinded sight. Christ, have mercy. Holy Spirit, you pour light into our hearts. Renew us in faith and in love. Lord, have mercy. So may Almighty God forgive us our sins. Open our eyes to his truth. Strengthen us to do his will. Give us the joy of his kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So now let us hear the word of God. From Psalm 24, verse 7. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. And from Romans, chapter 13, verse 12. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Let us put on the armour of light. God's holy wisdom, God's holy word. So now we come to our intercessions. There will be a silence when you can remember the prayers and petitions of your own hearts. We begin with a prayer. We'll close with the Lord's prayer. Lord God, give us the grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the full armour of light now in the time of this mortal life, that on the last day, when he shall come again in glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, that we may rise to the life immortal. Amen. So now, Lord, we take time to rise before you prayers of our hearts. For all these are prayers, and in your mercy, hear our prayer. Now we gather our prayers as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, Chart in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. So 
So we're now coming to the close of our service. Thank you for joining us. We close with some prayers and a blessing. So let us pray. O Lord our God, make us watchful and faithful as we await the coming of your Son, our Lord, that when he shall appear, he may not find us sleeping in sin, but find us active in his service and joyful in his praise. So may Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, be with those you love and those you pray for, now and always. Amen. So whilst we wait for the coming of our Saviour, Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.